All right, guys, I'm showing them how to day trade. I thought I had a, uh, I thought I was recording before. You could see the members. Uh, we, we called it right here. Uh, we said it was going to come down. Right now, we're in breakout mode again. Um, but before, we were talking about when the stock was right here. And uh, we said it was going to come back down because we were talking about the bodies of the candle. And we were talking about right now, Amazon's still in breakout mode. It's still going higher. But let me show you guys. So right here, we were talking about um, the candle here. We've seen the run here. That was the breakout momentum phase. And then what we were looking at was the body of the candles. And you see the body of the candles were together. And members will attest, uh, this is actually live right now. We're still live. Uh, guys, uh, when we were just doing this live, when I forgot to record, um, did I not say that we were going to head down to the 20-day once we were right here? Did I say that, guys? Someone type in yes or no. Okay, Dr. Phil. I, I said yes, he did. See, Don. So when we were right here, I said, guys, we're going to go down to that 20 day because I looked and I seen that we were in breakout momentum where we were bouncing off these SMAs. And what I told them right here, I said, guys, we're going to go lower here. So um, I don't think I brought up puts or anything, but I said, guys, our entry is going to be on the 20 day, the next green candle. And we kept going. And then right here, I said, see, guys, I told you we're going to get down to that 10 and then down to that 20. That candle brought us down to the 10. Next one brought us down to the 20. I said, all right, guys, our entry is going to be a next green candle. We got a green candle here. We entered at 1756, and we broke out, and it was incredible. Over 90% return. We got up to here. I said, all right, guys, so this next candle, you know, I was going candle by candle, minute by minute here. Each one of these candles are one minute. I said, guys, what we're looking for is the body to be above the previous body. So as you can see right here, this body, we were waiting for it to break out above the previous body. It did that in all these circumstances. Here, we stayed here, and I said, guys, it's time to exit the trade. We exited the trade at 17 65 1764 and look at that we headed lower we headed down to the 10 but we're still in breakout mode we're still in breakout mode so that's great breakout mode is not going to shift until we cross below the 20 day blue sma so once you get another confirmed here we go we're on another rise here here's the next breakout guys here's the next breakout this is what we're going to look for this is what we're going to look for all right, so we got a candle. Now this candle, this next one, is going to be higher. There we go. There goes that body, guys. So our entry was on that breakout. This is a breakout stock again. This is one that's buying some calls. Here we go. We're in breakout. What we don't want to see is the candles between each other here. It's okay if this one is right around here. That's okay. You know, what we don't want to see is, I'm going to show you if it happens. Here we go. Breakout mode, breakout candle. There we go. Big move, big move. Your stock is now up almost 30% your calls if you got in down here. It just had a four-point move higher in literally a minute and a half. All right, so you see this candle. We're still at the highs of the minute. There we go. It's still pushing higher. Buyers are still coming in and buying Amazon. That's good. Stock's going higher. Here we go. Higher, higher. Minute's almost over. So that next candle, we're going to see if it's between the body or above the body of the previous candle. All right, here we go. What's happening here? What's happening? I'm giving it a few seconds. All right, don't like the momentum. Don't like the momentum. Giving it a few seconds. You know, I already have my part target right here. If it's not above this in a few seconds, I'm exiting. We're up, you know, at least 50, 60 percent now from that. If you're day trading uh, an at the money or out of the money call. So what's going on here? Nothing. So I'm exiting this trade. So right now I'm typing in. If something changes by the time I type it in, you know, you're out. So you're out of this trade. It's not doing anything. Bam, you're done. You're out. Now what happens with the candle? Let's see. There she goes. Now she's dropping down to that 10-day. Now let's see what kind of strength it's going to have on that next climb. Is it going to come down to the 10 or the 20-day SMA? What's going to happen? Let's watch. And this is how you could tell, guys, if you're in breakout. When you're in breakout and you're day trading, you want to see the bodies of those candles above those bodies. And you're using those SMAs to guide you. 
And guys, you guys are my members. You guys see what we, we've been doing. If you like these videos and you want me to do these all day long, we could do these all day long. But I need your help and, uh, you know, let others know about TSE. Here we go. We came down to the 10-day. Let's go. There we go. There's another breakout. Market's up 401 points. NASDAQ's up 209. I'm keeping that on my watch here. Uh, you know, we're seeing if this breaks resistance here. Resistance is these three candles right here. So this is going to be our shift. This is what we're looking for. And, like, I'm doing this now. It's taken a while, but... You know, I want you guys to see what's in my mind. You know, that was in my mind. We were looking for a make or a break above that. We're breaking above it. That's a good sign. And that's continued breakout momentum. If it broke below this channel, that would have been a sign that we we're going back down to that 20-day. And then we could have made an entry down at that 20-day. So that's what I was thinking right here. I said, okay, if it breaks below this box, it's probably going to head back down to that 20-day like we've seen here before that next move higher. So in my mind, I was thinking, all right, that was my a mental note. If I break below, then I'm going to wait for an entry down here. If I break above here uh, with a full candle, then I'll enter again. So it's not doing that, not doing that. It's still in a strong breakout mode, as you can see. Remember what I told you guys. You could tell the strength by the SMAs here. It's coming down to that 10-day. And then breaking, coming down to the 10-day, breaking. Now, if it's a shallower climb, it's going to come down to that 20-day, like you've seen over here. Come down to that 20-day and then climb. Now, here, this is a strong breakout because it's above those 10-day. You know, so let's see what it's doing now. I want you guys to get an understanding of how breakout momentum trades work. And breakout momentum could be on any time frame. You could use it for a three to six month time frame. You could use it for a weekly time frame. And you could use it for day trading like you see. So once you understand all the different ways to use these strategies, you know, you can make a lot of money. And, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a small account. That's what I mean. The people who actually learn how to do this are going to do well. As you guys seen, I just did it twice on air. The first time was incredible because I called it. I called each of the waves and where it was going to come down to. This one's even stronger than the other one. So, you know, now, look, like, look at Amazon. This is Amazon, right? Look at Amazon now. Now it's coming down below the 10-day. So that's my key. Hey, momentum shifted. Here is the consolidation phase. The profit-taking phase, uh, probably going to see it come back down to this 20-day. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if she comes down to that 20-day. If she comes down to that 20-day, you know, then that's a sign that we could possibly enter. It bounced off that 10-day. That's its continued sign of strength. And this is going to continue to go higher. This is a good day trade because why? Amazon has earnings after the bell today as well, guys. So that's actually a catalyst as well. Uh, you could jump in right now. You could buy some calls. I think this baby's going higher from now until 4 p.m. And now this is what else, what else I would say. I would say maybe 15 minutes before closing bell, you're going to see a lot of the day traders take profit, and it's going to drop quickly. So that's why I'd want to be out of this trade by 3 p.m.-ish. But like I said, guys, you could tell the, the strength of the breakout momentum by these waves, what it's coming down to, and then um, you're looking for your entries and your exits off of the bodies of the candle. It can't get any simpler than that, guys. You know, like I said, once you got down to that 20-day, it held above. That was that support. It held above. You're entering, and uh, you're entering here. And then you're going to close out that trade once you see those bodies between each other. When you have those bodies side by side, that's time to exit, that the momentum has shifted. It's failing to break above the previous day's high. Or, well, not, I'm saying the whole thing's failing to break above the previous day's high, the whole body. You know, um, so then that's our exit right there. And then we've seen it drop back down to the 20 like it was because this is a pattern that we trade. So our next entry was on the green candle. And this is the one that we did. This is the one that we did live right here. No, this is the one we did live. Yep. So this is the one we did live. Then we entered right here and then we closed right here. And that was a huge 80% return. We're still in breakout momentum. Uh, you know, watch where this candle ends, guys. Watch where this candle ends. What are we looking for? You guys know, talk to me. Type, type, type. 
I want to know you guys are learning here. Yeah, we're looking for the move above the SMA, but what's what about the stop? Like if we enter right now, you know, are are you entering now? Tell me. I'm asking you guys questions. What would you be doing with the chart right now? You shouldn't even be in the trade right now yet unless you're going off the 10-day. If you're going off the 10-day, then you're going to use that 10-day as your stop. So you're still in this trade from way back here. Because it didn't get a body below that 10-day yet. Now watch, watch. What's, what's going on? I told you guys all along. This is entry, entry, and start to climb. Here comes the next climb. This stock is in breakout mode. This is one that you're trading. You're trading this right now. Got in at 1756. It's now at 1770. Still in breakout mode, guys. Still in breakout mode. You're entering, exiting based on what parameters and risk you're involved in. And you know what? There's no better feeling than this. When you have a pattern that's going your way, and the best part is when you can control it. You know, you know in your mind, hey, if it goes below here, like right there, there you go. There's your first candle below that uh, yellow. There you go, guys. That's your exit. That's your exit. Guys, mute your microphones, please. Best runners. That was you. All right. What did I tell you guys? You know, it just crossed below that 10 day. Let's see what happens. What else is happening here, guys? You notice something in breakout mode? Look at this. Momentum shifting a bit. See how it's failing to break resistance here? This is where I'd be exiting. This is where I'd be exiting. When I entered back down here, this is where I'd be exiting right now. I don't like that. Now, once it breaks above this resistance again of 1770, then you're entering again. But for right now, it's trading within bodies. So this is the consolidation phase. We want here we go. Now this could be another breakout right here. We want to break out above 17750. There you go. You could enter now. She's in 177050. That was your entry. She's already a dollar above it. It's she's in breakout mode again. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. So you're in a trade. You're in the trade. Now just watch. Let the chart tell you what it's going to do. Watch the candles. Watch the bodies. Watch the SMAs. And guys, share this around. Share this in, Share this link in other Facebook groups. You know, there she goes. Look at, look, Amazon's running. Let's see what it does here. Is it going to come back to that 10-day and then bounce? Or is it going to continue to climb? That 10-day is important, guys. Best runners, this is a one-minute chart here. Uh, if you want, we could change to three-minute, and I could show you how to do three-minute. It's probably best for three-minute with most people because, um, you know, most don't have the discipline and patience to do one-minute. But, see, this is still looking good right now. When that was just up in the green, we don't want to see... Let me change it to three minutes. I'll show you guys. So see, you're getting the same signals uh, with the three minute. And notice this. Notice the breakout here and then with the three minute. See how it consolidated into this box a bit right here? So this is the, this is the consolidation phase. Let's see a break above this. Just like right here. See, these are the phases, guys. You guys will be able to recognize and trade off of you know you're usually having one bar or one two three four five bars and then consolidation you know and this is really micromanaging you know like this is a lesson in itself breakout momentum just think about the smas 
and what the stock's doing with the SMAs. Then if you want to micromanage it and you look at the phases that the, it's in in the breakout, you could see here are the phases. Look at the candles here. You know, look at those candles there. Okay, so see, we're looking now what's happening. We're getting that next break higher. Here it is. There's that next break. There you go. There's that breakout. You know, you, we were in over here. Look at that breakout, 1773 now, still breaking out. So you're trading this stock, you're making tons of money, 1773. And where did we get in? We got in back. We got in back. Let's change this to one minute. I'm going to show you guys where we got in. We got in right here. We got in right here at 1756. Look at that, a 20-point move higher since we entered. And it depends what you want, guys. There's different strategies. You could use the 10-day. You could use body. You know, like there's so many different ways. But know the general, um, the general gist of this breakout momentum is this SMAs. You know, when you're coming down to this 20-day, that's your buying opportunity. Look at breakout. Here we go. Here's another big breakout coming. You know, we're going to be looking at a breakout like this right now. That's what we're going to be looking for. Let's see if we get it. That minute's almost over. There we go. And see, when you get to micromanaging like this with one-minute candles, it could really push your nerves. I'm going to show you what it looks like then on three-minute when, when this candle's done here. There's the next candle, green above that, and there's that breakout again. There's that breakout, 1776 it just got up to. Now let's take a look at the three-minute chart. Let's see how it differs. Look at this. So see, we still didn't get any signals yet. Look at that. It's still in breakout. That's why when you're looking at one minute, you're micromanaging. You guys should never be looking at micromanaging. But when you get good enough, you could look at the one-minute one charts. Right now, focus on these. Focus on three or five-minute Look at the five minute. Look at it. we're still in breakout mode. And guys, we called this all the way down at 1756. That's where we called it. 1756. Now let's change to five minutes, see what it looks like. I want you guys to get familiar with how charts look and how they react. There's a five minute chart. Now what do we want to see here? We want to see this body above that body. Or if not, we could see something like this again, where it's at the top and then the next candle higher. But we don't want to see a full body and a full body. That's one thing you don't want to see. Like, see this to me? I don't like that right now. Let's see what it does. Now, see, these are five-minute candles. So, obviously, you wait longer for this candle to end compared to a one-minute candle. If we go and look at a one-minute candle, now you're going to see that the stock's heading lower. Look at this. Now it's down to that 10-day on a one-minute candle. You know, so see how it looks on different charts. That's why when you make a trade plan, you have to understand what what charts are you going to look at? What time frames are you going to look at? Because if you're trading off of this chart, you know, this is telling you, you know, that you should have exited right up here. And then if you're looking at a three minute chart or a five minute chart, this one's telling you, you know, something different. See the five minute. Let's go to three minute. But notice one thing, they're all showing breakout momentum. They're all showing breakout momentum. It's just how do you want to micromanage your trade then? Do you, how, how tight do you want to make your stops? How tight do you want to, you know, see how it's still holding above the 10-day? Breakout momentum, that 10-day, that's your stop. 20 days, your entry. And then how you want to micromanage your trade is depending on you know, what strategy you're looking for. The stock has increased by over 21 points in a short period of time. Uh, best runners, what are the moving averages on your chart? <clears throat> so the yellow is the 10-day and the blue is the 20-day. You know, we, we could sit at TSE and do day trades like this all day. You know, this is easy stuff, but you have to understand that's taking up, you know, that's taking up my time that I can't be trading. 
You know, so see here again, here's that consolidation phase. Now we're waiting for that next breakout. Or, you know, if it starts to go against us, it's going to be a break below that 10-day SMA, which we haven't seen yet. Well, we did see us come down to the 20-day, and that's why we entered here, was the confirmed bounce off the 20-day. Now see that candle right there? That should be, well, it's still held above the 10-day. So you got to see here. If this candle goes lower, then let's see. What are we on? The one-minute chart. So that's the one-minute chart. Let's go back to the three-minute. See how it looks, the breakout momentum. Remember what I told you guys before in the webinar? You know, when it's trading between, no-go, no-go. This is what you're looking for, breakout momentum. We got in at 17.56. And she's now at 17.75. If you guys traded this uh, when I first started, please tell me down below here in the chat, did anyone get in since we started going over this? Anyone make a day trade on Amazon? Look at, there she goes again. Here comes another breakout phase. Did anyone trade this? Let's see what the five minute looks like. I'll show you. Now see the five minute. If this goes below that body, that's exit sign. You know, if you're day trading, micromanaging, so you're watching this body. Body below that previous body. If it holds above and breaks, you're holding on to the trade. If not, you're out. And if you guys want to do a real day trade, we can even do that. There is previous resistance, 1775. Let's jump out a bit and look. Yep, you're right, Jane. That's a good call. There's resistance right there. Let's see if uh, let's see if it breaks it. So this resistance. 1777. If it breaks 1777 now, in my mind, I'm thinking she's going to break out even further. So let's go back to a one minute. There we go. There we go. There we go. See how again, guys, on the one minute chart, even it came down to that 10 day. Now you're entering. This is an entry. Exit would be a close below the 10, or close, you know what I mean, a candle below the 10. So our entry was at 1775.97. Let's see. If it comes down, that's your exit. And you have to understand, you have to be disciplined enough to be able to do that. You're looking for that, that candle to be below that 10. And notice, too, how the, the climb, you know, notice the climb, the waves, and the strength. That's when you'll know when to make a larger trade compared to a smaller trade, risk management, portfolio management. You're watching those waves and climbs. You know, this, this climb here, this is a little bit weaker. Now, if we could break this 1777 resistance, then we're going to climb big. We could probably get up to 1780. Let's see. It's looking good so far. Looking good. I don't want to see that red. And that's what I mean, guys. It's just patience. There we go. That's a green candle. That's good. But I don't like how the body, you know, like let's see another big breakout where the body's above the previous body. If this one could get a little bit of steam here, then I know we'll see that big body breakout again. If we could get a big candle here. And now I'm looking at the Dow. The Dow's up 461. The NASDAQ's up 235. S&P's up 60.65. So you got your mind. That's why we have six monitors. We have information. Information's important. Just like I have news right here. I have breaking news. If anything, anything goes wrong with the economy, if there's a terrorist attack, I'm going to get that news before the mainstream gets that news, and I'm immediately going to be exiting those trades. So that's why traders usually have more screens. 
We could look at more charts, see what the Dow's doing, see what the NASDAQ's doing, see what our trades are doing, uh, news, information, events. There's that green candle again. You see these candles are all green, still climbing. There we go. There's that breakout again, 1778. We broke resistance. Let's see if it could hold. Let's see if it could hold. If it holds, it's going to break out like I said before. We're going to get big candles, and the bodies are going to be above the previous body. That's what we're looking for here, guys. I think it's coming right now. <clears throat> There we go, guys. There we go. Look at that. Look at that body of that candle. Let's see. Let's see. Now this one I want to see higher, higher. That would tell me that we're in a nice breakout now. Come on, climb higher, climb higher. Let's get to 1780, like I said. Let's get to that 1780. There we go. 1779.73. 1779.35. Here we go, guys. Let's see it climb. We want to see that body above that period. There we go. 1779.60. You know, let's see what happens here, guys. What did I tell you? I want to see 1780. Let's see what happens. There we go, green. There we go. There we go. She's climbing. Now, see if this was a big candle then I could have expected a larger run coming. Now, see see the size of the scandal? That's telling me, you know, it's going to be a slower climb until we start seeing big bodies. Seven, There we go, 1781.12. Look at that pop. Look at that. There she goes, 1782. There it goes, guys, 1782. Look at that pop. That's what you're looking for, guys. Options, you just made 200% if you got in down here. Look at that pop. That's what we're looking for. 1783, 1784. Wow, what a hell of a pop, guys. Now, with options, you just made 200% if you got in down here when we got in. The stock has now moved up 30 points since our entry at 1756. 1756 was our entry. We're following the breakout momentum. Amazon's in breakout mode. And as you guys can see, we've been going down. <laughs> Sidhu says, Dave, are you telling Amazon what to do? It's doing exactly as you say. Uh, hey, Sidhu, that just comes from being a great trader. Now, look at this, guys. Here we go. There's that next body. We're still in breakout mode. This thing's going to climb here. Let's see. <clears throat> There's that body. That body's above that previous body. That's telling me that if we can hold that, we're going to continue to break out possibly up to, let's see where next resistance is now. Uh, we could possibly see up to... We could possibly see up to 1,800 by the end of the day, guys. That's that's not out of the question. 1,784 now. Wow, did we call that or what? Now, what are we looking for as an exit if we're micromanaging? You know, you're still in if you're if you're just going based on the 10-day. But if you want to capture quick gains at the top, you know, and really make money, you know, like you guys that are just learning, you should just be doing the 10-20. When you get to my level, then you could get into the bodies and when you could sell at the top and when the bottom is. Like I could tell you when the top is going to be, uh, the bottom. Well, I, I can't tell you exactly. You know, no one knows that. Uh, you know, but I could tell you when the top is near and when the bottom's near just by looking at the candles and and the areas here. So right now, I'd be if this candle, you know, falls below 1783.40, I would be exiting this on a micro managing basis if i was macro managing like you guys should be you're just using the smas so let's see 1735 i'd be having my trade ready i'd be ready to push that button as soon as it dropped below that that's how i am there boom done she's gone i'm out so as soon as it hit that i would have had the trigger on i would have exited that trade don't care what it does now don't care if i uh, sold at the wrong time. I sold when my trading plan told me to trade. And you know what? That trading plan makes money, guys. So now let's see. Now what could happen to it could just be in consolidation and then break out again. 
If that's a sign, then this is a sign that this is going to 1800. You know, but if you're if you guys are trading, you're still in that trade from way back here because you didn't get across below that 10 day. So here was your entry when you got in with us at 1756 and look at that. Look at that climb. Look at that climb, guys. 1800's the target. She's going to get there, no doubt. There's no doubt she's getting 1800. There's no doubt in my mind. Look at that body. Look at that climb. Look at that breakout momentum. 1789, guys. 10 points away from 1800. Wow, look at that. It just got up to 1790. You know, you're in this again. As soon as it breaks above this resistance right here, 1785, you're in again. And that's what you're doing day trading, in and out, in and out. Or, like I said, if you want to macro manage and not have to be into many positions, you just follow that 1020 day that I went over in that first webinar that I did not record. So you're still in breakout momentum here. Like I said, breakout momentum is going to stop if you get a stop uh, if the candle is below that 20 day. It's not below that. Um, you're exiting the trade if you get below that 10 day. A first candle below that 10 day, you're exiting. And from when we entered before at 1756, this was our entry right here. Let me put this in. I want to show you guys exactly you guys know that's the green candle because I know people say oh there, I'll put it there. So, what was that? 1756 was our entry. So, that was your entry. Your close. So here is the main strategy, guys. You're entering on a break above the 20 and 10, and then you're exiting on the first candle below the 10. That's the main strategy. And then the subsection of that strategy where you can micromanage it is the candles, using the body of the candles. So what you can do is you're looking for here, the consolidation phase. So you're seeing the consolidation phase, you're, wait, you're waiting for a break above or a break below. If it breaks below, you're exiting and then you can enter again on that bounce. This is micromanaging to be able to sell at the highs and the lows. So right here, you're looking. So now you're in breakout again. There goes that candle, it's in breakout. Uh, you know, you could be adding to that position or doing whatever you wanna do with that. Okay, so that box right there, that's the little consolidation profit phase. Now this, what are we looking for with this next candle? You're looking for that to be above the previous candle. Okay, let's see what happens. See how even the red, you know, it really didn't go below the previous candle's body there, or the wick to wick. Here, you would have exited right here if you're micromanaging, and then you're entering again on the bounce if it gets. You know, here's the consolidation phase. You're waiting for the end of this candle here to decide what to do. Because, you, you guys, understand, these candles are only one minute. One minute's not going to make or break you. So watch and see what that candle does. Here is, remember those things I was drawing before, those rectangles? Let's draw another rectangle. Let me change the color here. So see, you're getting, you're already getting this, you already got the sign to sell that. So now you're seeing what it does here. 
You know, it's still held above that 10-day. So those of you that are entering breakout momentum, you're still in. You're micromanaging. This is the type of things you're doing. You're waiting for that phase to break out again. Because remember right here, here's another phase. So your entry was 1756 down here on this green candle. And there you go, guys. Now, if you're in this trade for the long using the main uh, category, then what you're doing, you're exiting uh, once this crosses below here. It's an easy strategy to use, simple. You just made over 150 to 200 percent returns if you got the weekly at or out of the money strike and you ran it up here. So let's see what it does now. Let's see if it holds. If this is a green candle, that's another buy signal. If not, it's possibly going to come down to that 20-day and then bounce from there. So this is what we're doing now. If you're, you're out of that trade, this is what we're doing now. Well, it didn't get the close below, so this candle would confirm for the main entry. There you go. That's your exit. Now we're waiting for it to come down to the 20 day and see if it gets a bounce from there. There we go. Continue lower. Now, hey, it might start to climb from here. Let's see. If we get a break above this body here, a green candle above that body, that's good. But I also want to see it break that 10-day. So let's see. If this is above, then we're entering again. Right now, it got up to it, just like I told you the markets. You want to see if it gets up to it, and then that acts as resistance, and then fails back down to the 20. That's what we're watching for. Even though that's green, not good yet. I want to see above that 10. See how it kept going up there and then retracing. Got up to that 10 day, acted as resistance, and it retraced. Now, if this broke that 10-day, that's an entry, but still nothing yet. This is why patience and discipline are important. There you go. She broke it. That's your entry. And then that next green candle is confirmation of the next wave higher. So your entry was at 1787.38. Now what's going to happen? Is it going to hold above that 10-day? If it does, that's a great sign that it's going to continue to climb. Let's see what it does here. So you guys remember the price point I just said was our entry. Let's see what this candle does here. Does it hold above or is it going to close below? That's important. It's holding above it still. That's a beautiful sign. Let's see it continue to climb a little bit higher. I'm looking at the markets now. Dow's up 467, NASDAQ's up 245, S&P's up 62. Okay, this candle's going to be ending soon. It's going to be making a new candle, so I don't want to see this drop. There we go. It held above that 10. Let's see, continue to do that. 
Bam. See that? See how it held above that 10-day? See how we were watching for that? Now let's see what this candle does. I don't like how the, see how the strength of the candle here to the SMA candle is different than compared to when it's topping. As you can see here, this is a big consolidation phase right here. You know, so this is really micromanaging your trade. But for right now, you're watching that 10. There we go. There's that breakout. All right, we're still in it. There we go. We're watching for that 10-day, guys. You could let them in. Just tell them stand here. All right, there you go, guys. There's that break. It just broke above resistance right here. That's a good sign. I want to see that candle break that resistance right here that's good there we go guys there's that break there's that break now she's in the next breakout phase now it's in the next breakout phase it just broke above that resistance we want to see it continue to climb here if it fails then that's a sign momentum's over but right now that big candle and that break above that resistance right here that's great that's great <clears throat> There we go. It's continuing to climb, continuing to climb. That's great. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that break, guys. That trade that we entered down here at that price I told you. Look at what it got up to now, 1792. You know, that that's a quick 20, 30, 40% profit. You know, and you could be in and out of that trade. See how this candle now is failing to break above the previous one? I'd be out. You know, that's a quick day trade. That's micromanaging day trades. So you could capture from the low to the high, you know, or like I said, you could wait until that candle's done and over with and continue to be in the trade. Now, if this continues to break, I would have re-entered into the trade again. <clears throat> that's why you can make, you know, a lot of day trades if if you know exactly what to look for. Unfortunately, when I'm teaching you guys this, you know, I... I can't be trading myself here. I'm trying to show you guys details of what to look for. And notice how I said I would have been out of that trade? That that's from experience. You know, like cuz I knew that that candle didn't go above that candle right off the bat. It stuttered there a bit. So that's why I said, you know, that's where I'd exit. At 1792. And that was a nice top there. Now it's coming down to that 20-day. So I gave you multiple entry and exits already if you're micromanaging the trade. And I gave you one huge trade at 17.56. That got all the way up to 17.93. And all those trades just made you a ton of money. You're welcome, Sanjay. I'm really upset, though, that I did not record that first session where we did that live trade. See, guys, though? See how, like, this... Look at this now without anything here. I should keep that there because people... You know what the haters are going to say. Oh, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. You guys were in here. You guys seen we did it. That's what I can't stand. That's why you guys shouldn't be paying attention to people on Facebook. You have no idea what they do. They don't do they don't do uh, videos like this. Why? Cuz they can't make money. They have no idea how the hell to make money. So 1756 was entry there. Look at that. Came down to that 20. Now watch this, guys. This is important. So this is going to be either another entry or this is going to be a sign that momentum is shifting and we're going to head lower. Take a watch what this candle does right here. This is going to be important, guys. Watch. Notice how the yellow 10-day uh, SMA is converging with the 20-day. 
And notice here what happened when we were breaking out. You know, don't you notice something's not right here, right? So it's either A, we're going to have another big breakout here, or B, we're going to break down. So let's see what happens. Here comes the candle. Let's see what it tells us, guys. Remember what I told you. Candle below, a full candle below, and then a confirmation below, that sign of a momentum shift lower. If it bounces above here, that sign of the next wave and continued climb higher. So keep that in mind. Here we go. Here's a candle. And like I said, guys, don't. these are one-minute candles. If you can't wait 60 seconds to make a decision, there's something wrong with your trading plan. So watch. Just watch how the candle ends. Watch what happens here. It's important. <clears throat> now see if it closed here and then we got the next red candle. That's confirmation of a shift lower. There you go. There's that next candle. Now, if this candle ends red, that's a confirmation of a shift lower. Or if you see it continue to push lower, that sign that the momentum has ended, the shift is lower, sellers are coming in. And you know what? It's also 3 p.m. So now the day traders are going to start stepping in, taking their profits. The high of the days might be here for now, but Amazon reports earnings after the bell. You know, and like I said, let's see what happens here. Remember what our confirmation was, was the next red candle lower. Let's see what this candle does here, guys. Remember. Let's see what happens. And this is what you have to do if you're a day trader. And this is why it's tough for people to day trade. They don't have the patience to do this. You know, but the nice thing with TSE, we walk you through it. We walk you through it. We show you. We literally show you. And we give the detailed plans. There's that shift. There's that candle. Now, if this candle's red, since the previous one was green there, we're waiting for this. And then we're also watching that 10-day to cross below that blue 20-day. See, we're watching this yellow day to cross below that 20 day. If that happens, you're going to see shifts start to go, and we could see Amazon back down at 1775, 1770 even by the end of the day. Here we go, guys. There's that push. Here comes that crossover from the 10 down to the 20. There was that confirmation. Now let's see what happens. I bet you you're not going to see no more uh, climbs to the highs today. <clears throat> we may, though. You know, I. You know, no one's perfect. No one could um, predict the future. But what we're doing is following a strict plan. And uh, and here we go. There's that move lower. What did I say? 1775, 1770. Let's see what happens. And remember how going up, we're looking for the bot bodies of those candles going up above. Now, if this one has a red candle and it's below that body, that's a sign that there is some aggressive momentum lower and profit takers coming in. So that's how you can tell and decipher the strength of that decline or selling pressure by what's going on here. So now we just got that 10-day cross below that blue 20-day. Watch now. Watch. Now, notice when it was above how the momentum was higher. We went higher. Now, what happened? Take a look at this, guys. What happened? Here was the top. Here was the support. What happened? We broke below that support. We just had that crossover. Now, what's going to happen? This was the top. And see, I could call all this stuff because I've, I've been doing it for a long time. You know, I don't know why that went away there. Ah, son of a gun. So as you can see, the 10-day cross below that 20-day, uh, the stock, the candles have crossed below that 20 day so that momentum is over that trade is over now you're shifting to puts like i said the put was right here and then you're exiting that put when it crosses above that 10 day 
So you just went from buying calls, and now you called that shift lower. Now we're going to continue to see this pressure going lower here. And you could see there she goes. She's dropping. She's dropping. And look at, notice, notice the momentum shift. See how the candles now, see how the bodies of the candles, they're lower than the previous ones. You know, that's a sign momentum has shifted. And I walked you through this every step of the way, guys, from all the way when we entered back down here at 1756. This is where we originally entered the trade, 1756. And we called it at the top right here. You tell me someone else that could do that and give you the details of how to do it like we do. Now let's see. Let's see these continue lower. What did I say? Down to about 1700. Let's see if that happens. You know, we might see a shift. Now see if you see this start to climb here. I'm going to show you when a buy signal would be or to sell out of your puts. Here comes the next candle here. Let's see what this candle is going to do. Let's get that out of the way so you can see the SMAs here. So you entered that you entered that put around 1785 and notice that 10 day is going to be when you if it crosses above that 10 day, that's when you sell that put. She's failing to break above it. Let's see if we head lower here. Amazon does have earnings, so you have to keep that in mind. There might be some buyers that know something that step in at the end of the day. We'll see. Amazon's up 7% today. Wow. And we called that from the beginning. See what these candles are doing? Watch. <clears throat> see that candle there failed to break above? Let's see if this one does. Now see the trend here? It's not making new lows. So that tells me there could be a momentum shift higher here. See how down here? We, we called it up here because we were watching the bodies. Now we're watching to see if we hold above or below this. This here, this is a consolidation phase. Break above, and it's a trend reversal. Let's see what it does here with these candles. There it goes. I want to see it break below this, 1780. If it's above, you're exiting. Now it's getting closer. This one's probably going to be above it. Watch, this candle's not even here yet. It's probably going to go higher. Let's see. That consolidation. We're looking, we want to see that candle below 1781, 1780. Let's see, it's still holding below. Still holding below. And this is what I mean, guys. It's really patience and discipline. And remember, now you already made profit because we got in right here. We got in right here, 1785, so you still have a nice profit. Might be a smaller profit. Might be only a 20% gain. 
But let's see. Still, it's failing to break above. Let's see if that holds. There we go. There's some selling pressure coming in. Let's see if it could hold. There's the next candle lower. Now, if we see a big drop here. Remember what I said our target is. Our target's right around 1700 Come up to the 10-day. It failed. Drop back down. Coming back up. Let's see if it breaks it. And you, you can't get any more transparent than this. As you guys can see, this system works. You guys just have to learn to take out the noise, take out the market noise, and follow a system. Trade plan is number one. We entered right up here, 1786. We're at 1781 now. Still feeling the break above that 10 day. So those puts are still on. Let's see here. Now, see, you could see a wick if it comes up and then comes back down. What's the time on this? So we still have uh, 30 seconds left to go on this candle. See what happens. <clears throat> oh, there's some buyers coming in. There's some buyers. You see how quickly that candle went up. Let's see if there's sellers. That candle's going to be ending soon. Seven seconds. Okay. So that candle's over. Here's the next candle here. All right, now this green candle, that's you're exiting there. Now, if this one's a green candle and we get above that 20-day, that's going to be a sign you're buying some calls. Well, let's see. This is that confirmation candle. See what it does here? It's getting up to that blue 20-day. Getting up, getting up. Let's see what's the market at 483. There we go. <clears throat> so you made money on those puts, might be small, 15, 20%. You know, we got in at around 1786 and sold at 1783. There we go. There's the green candle. Now this, let's see where we're at in this candle. So the next candle is just starting right now. There we go. This candle is going to be our entry. If we hold above the 20. See how we just crossed above the 20. So now this candle is a confirmation to buy calls. As long as this one's green. And I'm watching to see here. And this is micromanaging, guys, like I said. So, you know, you could go on a five-minute scale, a three-minute scale, and not do one minute and be watching it as aggressively as we are. Let's see what the candle does here. Got about 11 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 6, 5. Let's see, we still didn't. Let's see now. We want this green candle here. Now, right now, we're not in a trade yet. Not in a trade yet. If you entered into a trade accidentally, that 20 days, you're stopped. But like I said, you're waiting for the specific... Um, you're waiting for those specific targets, those SMAs, and then you're waiting for the candle and confirmation. You got to have that confirmation because otherwise, remember what I told you guys about trading uh, sideways, you know, between SMAs? You don't want to be trading between SMAs. 
Remember down here, I showed you guys right here. You don't want to be trading in between SMEs like this. This is a no-go right here. See this? Let me make a, a nice uh, cross for you here. This is not an area you want to trade. See how it's between the SMEs here? That's an area you do not want to trade. Oh, I'm making a lot of things here. So you don't want to trade that area. Okay? And this right now, it's trading within those SMAs. So this is the do not trade area as of right now. You're waiting for that breakout momentum. It's not there yet. <clears throat> and you also have to keep an eye on the time. It's 3.15. Market's going to be closing in 45 minutes. So what are you looking for here? You're looking for that green candle. You want to see this yellow line, which is your 10-day SMA, cross above the blue 20-day SMA, and then you want to see a green candle, and that's going to be breakout momentum phase. If that fails to happen, you're still in that no trade zone. Here comes the crossover of the 10 above the 20. Let's see if it comes to fruition. If it does, then we could be in the next breakout momentum phase here. Right now, currently, it's still in the no trade phase. Uh, Ray, that's funny. No need for that when you got TSE. We've been calling it step by step. So there's that 10 day crossing above the 20. We break above 1787.50. I'd consider entering. As you can see, there's no guessing here. You know, there is no way we are guessing on anything. Everything's been detailed. Uh, we're following simple procedures or checklists. Right now, we're watching for that resistance. I want to see us break this resistance. We just broke that now. If the candle could stay there, next green candle, and I may be entering. So there's that resistance right here. I want to see that green candle above that. There we go. There's that green candle. Not there. Needs to be above that by the end of the candle. And obviously, if you get a big candle, you know there's some buyers coming in. So I would enter a little early if I seen a large candle forming right here. Still not yet. Not yet. There we go. That's the candle I want to see. Get back up there. There we go. That's the entry right there, guys. No doubt about it. That's where I would have entered right here at 1788.26. So 1788.26 would be an entry. Now let's see if it goes against us or for us. Looking to see markets are climbing. That's a good sign. But we're not seeing Amazon continue to break out. 
And in my mind, am I thinking, is that because of earnings? What's going on? Or does it just need some time to catch up here? So I'm constantly thinking, okay, why why is the stock doing this? Why are we not seeing a larger breakout? Now, see how the candles here, the bodies are, are starting to be above, but they're smaller body candles, you know, compared to down here when you had the larger bodies. Larger bodies are going to be a larger increase. Smaller candles, these smaller bodies, they're, ob they're obviously going to be climbing more slowly until we start seeing some big breakouts. Now, where was that buy signal I said? 1788.22, right? So let's see. Let's put that there and let's see. All right, now we're watching that 10-day. That 10-day is going to be our stop. The yellow line. Now it's just a waiting game, guys. You have to understand that with trading. Don't worry about the stock price. Just watch the market. You know, on a chart next to you, you should be watching the queues. See what the queues are doing. Because I could actually bring up a picture of the queues and you could see exactly what the queues are doing and then get an understanding of what Amazon may be doing. It's coming down to that 10 day. Let's see if it holds. Oh, for tomorrow, Ray, yeah. I think Amazon's going to have good earnings. I'd love to make an Amazon earnings trade. High risk, but... <clears throat> and there you go. There's some news coming out. If you guys could hear that background noise, that's the news. If it does trend higher, it's very weak. Dave, I agree on the earnings. The problem is that the market is punishing good and bad earnings. <clears throat> Amazon will be catalyst for next market moves. Absolutely, Ray. Been saying that in the videos for the past week. Tech earnings today after the bell are going to be critical to the market. Critical. There we go. There's a green candle held above the 20-day. Let's see that get above that 10. These ticks go by really slowly, especially when you're watching the three five-minute candles. I like watching the one-minute because I, I like knowing exactly what's going on. I told you guys I'm I'm pretty detailed when it comes to trading and trade plan. So I watch for very specific things. <clears throat> like what I'm seeing so far. Just don't want to see it close below that 20. Or I keep saying close, a candle below the 20.
Now, when it comes back up, I want to see it break that 1790 if it does. There she goes, she's climbing. Let's see, it breaks that 20, you're out. You're out. Let's see what it does there. Three twenty five, so probably going to start seeing some of the profit takers come in now. So, here, since it's failing to get a candle above, depending on what this candle does here, I'd be seeing what to do because you got to be watching 3 25 p.m. and you have to understand that at the end of the day, the profit takers are going to be coming in. Those are the day traders, so you're exiting, you're absolutely exiting at that 20 or that 10 back here. Now what are we going to see? The profit takers coming in at the end of the day here. Let's see what happens. And see too how when you're zoomed in on one minute, I want you guys to see this. See how you get these discrepancies here where you could, you know, you get a trade signal and then here you could you could reduce that by going with a five minute chart. Let's watch. Watch this. So remember that no trade zone? That no trade zone isn't there. You're still in breakout mode on the five minute chart. So if you go to the fifteen minute chart, you could see that you're still well above breakout mode. That's why it's important to watch the charts. You know, like here. You could see that you, you could have said, okay, we've topped. Now we're going to come back down here and possibly bounce off of that. That's why I said that 1770 area was the target of us going lower before. If you guys remember, I said 1770. But it all depends on what levels you're looking at. If we go to 5, you know, you're still at that 10. If you go to 3 minutes. You're at that breaking point. One minute. And it still wants to hold above that. But it's failing. See how every time it's coming up there and it's sharply pulling back? That's why you want to have those confirmations. Those confirmations are extremely important in uh, picking up false signals. Do you guys enjoy sessions like this? Comment below in the chat. So now we're seeing the 10-day cross below the 20 here. That's a bearish sign. Remember what I said you're looking for. Notice when the 10-day crosses below that 20-day, that decline you see. So here comes that 10-day again, crossing below that 20. So watch the stock. It's going to head lower. Unless this... You're waiting for that 10-day to cross below that 20. Like right here. Like right here. It's almost there now. If we zoom in, they're just combined now. Guys, please mute your microphones. It's now 3.30.
Let's take a look at our Visa trade. What did Visa do today? Look at that. What a beautiful chart. Beautiful. Coming back up. That's why we got the November 16th Expo. Let's take a look at... That's up to the 20. Let's take a look at SNPS. That's holding above the 20. That's nice. That's a good sign. Holding above the 10, I mean. Amazon. Let's go to the today's chart. And there you go. You got a breakout on Amazon again here. Guys, please mute your microphone. Guys, please mute your microphones. That takes away from me teaching. So here you go. You're getting across above resistance here. You're getting a candle right now. This is, let's see. This is breakout momentum, guys. Here it comes again. That's your entry right here, 1791.87. Look at these candles. See how the body of this candle is much larger now. Here we go. Breakout's coming. Breakout's coming. We crossed above this resistance here. Let's see a candle above this, and we're going to continue to that 1800, I bet. It's 331, though. It's getting late. Red. Keep it climbing. Keep it climbing. That last 30 minutes, you're going to see some volatile swings here. These are all the day traders and people closing their positions or buying positions before the earnings result. So now you're seeing that these candles, these bodies are becoming larger. So now you're expecting, okay, I could see larger swings here. So now let's go to the let's go to the three minute, for example. Let's watch this. See what goes on here. Remember the body of the candles, what we're looking for, and the SMAs. See this candle here. Let's see it turn green. Three thirty three PM. Watching that candle. That other webinar is done. You just downloaded it. Huh? You just downloaded it. I have two people here, uh, guys, that I'm also teaching to trade. They're over my shoulders right now, so they're just watching behind and seeing what we're doing.
Here comes that candle down to the 10. And guys, whatever candles you start watching, if you're watching three minute, one minute, stick with that. You know, don't go transferring from three to five to 15 to one. Pick a strategy and stick to it. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like on different time scales. So, you know, you're still in the trade. You're just waiting. It's just patience and discipline, guys. You're waiting for those signals. Amazon is up 7.5% though today. So is this going to be the resistance in the top of the day? We're going to see right now. We're almost up there. And it's 3.35 p.m. Let's see that next climb, if we're going to get it. Amazon could easily be up 10, 15% after hours on a good earnings report. You know, so it's at 17.90 now. You know, it, it could absolutely increase another 110 points and be back at 1,900 by tomorrow on a good report. So now what you're going to do, you're seeing today, why do you, why do you, why do you guys think you see Amazon and Tech stocks up 7.5% today. I want someone to tell me why, and I'll tell you if you're right. Do you know why you're seeing that big pop today, those big percentages? For those of you that don't know, that's the short cover rally. So when you're shorting stock and you have to cover, that's going to that's gonna cause a pop. And that's a short cover rally. So that's why we're seeing the markets up big because, of course, they don't want to go short into earnings. That would be foolish. That would be foolish. So why are the markets up today? You're seeing a lot of short covers come in today because of the earnings coming up. So let's see what she does here at this 10-day. All right, that's coming down. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be over in about 40 seconds. Oh, I don't know why that came up. Let me get these drawings off. <coughs> down And that's your exit, guys, right there. That support that's coming all the way back down to here. That's your exit. That's why we have the crosshair on it. This vertical. All 
Who keeps calling me? Came down to base. And now notice, guys, see how the candle that went from red ended up green. Still held above so far. This is a three minute candle, keep in mind. Let's take a look at the one quick. If I could get it up there. See how the one looks a little different. See how that's below. See how we go to five and we're still above the 10. We go to the three. You know, we're right at it. So it all depends what um, time frame you're looking at. And that's extremely important. Stick with one time frame when you're trading. Well, when you're day trading at least. If you're micromanaging looking at the one minute chart, you could see how your exits are changing. If you're going to the three minute, your exits are changing based on those chart, based on those uh, candles. Each of these candles are three minutes. You go to 10 minute, let's go to 15 minute, and you can see it's still above the, the 10 day. And you can see that it's still within that box that we go over. Let's make that a little bigger. Too big. So you can see the resistance there. The resistance has been, each one of these candles are 15 minutes. So 15, 15, 15, 15. For one hour, it's been trading within this range. And the more and more you start charting and looking at these, the more and more you're going to be able to look at things and recognize patterns, know when to sell, know when to take profits. And then if we look back at the one minute, I should close this up soon here. See how that rectangle still, it's showing us the basic support resistance. That's what we're looking for. And, you know, on the 15-minute, we couldn't micromanage it as much. So we could make this a little bit bigger here. And you could see this is the frame that we've been trading in for a while. And that's like the consolidation, no trade area. You know, like see how you're getting false signals here? That's the problems you get on the one-minute. You go to the five-minute chart. Watch this. See how the no trade zone, it's really not even there? You just got your sell signal if you're using the five minute chart. Now, if we go to the 10 minute chart, take a look. 10 minute chart, it's still in breakout mode. It's in the consolidation phase. And then if we go to 30 minute chart, you could see that that is the phase that we're looking for it to break. So you could see how this is what we took advantage of. We micromanaged it, though, by looking at the one-minute chart. Here's the 30-minute chart, you know, and this is all on today's can. These are, t this is today, right? Well, here's yesterday. No, here's today, the 26th, the 25th. So here was the opening, and we took advantage of this momentum. Right now, it's in the consolidation phase, and it's just waiting for that next break above resistance. So I'm going to end this now and get back in the trade room, guys.